José de Uria was a Mexican general. He fought under General Antonio López de Santa Ana during the Texas Revolution. Arias' forces were never defeated in battle during the Texas Revolution. His most notable success was that of the Goliad Campaign, in which James Fannin's 400 soldiers were surrounded and induced to capitulate under terms but were massacred in Uria's absence on the orders of Santa Ana. Uria also fought in the Mexican-American War. Early life Uria was born at El Presidio de San Augustin de Tucson, during Spanish regime of the region. Despite being born on the northern frontier of Mexico, his family had deep roots in the state of Durango. Military career In 1807 Uria entered the Spanish army. In 1824 he rose to the rank of captain, but he resigned from the army and entered private life. In 1829 he rejoined the military as a major and helped to liberate the city of Durango, allying himself with Antonio López de Santa Ana. He was promoted to colonel for his actions. In 1835 he reluctantly took part in Santa Ana's attack on the state of Zacatecas. Santa Ana promoted Aria to Brigadier General for his role in this Texas Revolution. When the Mexican state of Texas also revolted against Santa Ana's centralist government, Aria was sent there to help put down the colonists. He defeated small groups of Texan forces at the Battle of San Patricio, Battle of Refugio, Goliad and Battle of Calito. The last, also known as the Goliad Massacre, included the deliberate slaughter of Texans who had surrendered. The execution of prisoners, however, was not Uria's choice, but an order by General Santa Ana. Due to Uria's string of victories, Santa Ana decided to stay in Texas and personally finish off the rebellious Texas government. His motives were personal and political as Uria was getting all the headlines and would be seen back in Mexico as a more popular figure. Aftermath The military defeat of Santa Ana's forces at the Battle of San Jacinto on April 21, 1836 resulted in Santa Ana's capture, and him being forced to order all Mexican forces to withdraw from Texas soil. Aria was infuriated and, after linking up with Vicente Filosola's forces, he wanted to continue the war against the Texans since the Mexicans still had over 2,500 troops in Texas against less than 900 of Sam Houston's Texans. But both Aria and Filosola had no choice but to comply with Santa Ana's orders, and by mid-June, Aria and all Mexican forces had withdrawn from Texas. In 1837, Uria turned against Santa Ana upon his return to Mexico, and fought against him at the Battle of Mazatlan in 1838. The attempted uprising resulted in his eventual arrest, and he was sent to Perro to prison. He later revived his military career with the invasion of French forces into Mexico, and another failed coup attempt followed. The Mexican-American War saw Aria leading a cavalry division against invading American troops. Aria died August 1, 1849 of cholera shortly after the war ended.